This is where all of our spares are. <laughs> and we have lots of spares. Hi, my name's Josh. As you can see, we're in the workshop and we have just received our new car from Dallara. This is how it comes in a box and we're gonna take you through the process of building it up to a fully functioning AI race car. So this is how we receive a car from Dallara, minus the front suspension. The guys will spend roughly around two weeks building the car from a bare chassis all the way through to a complete autonomous race car, which we'll race here at Yas Marina. This is what we call the sensor ring. This is the critical part for taking all of our sensing devices like radar, LiDAR and camera. And we process that through into our computer where the teams then program their AI. Uh, and that's how the cars drive autonomously using mostly this bit of kit. So here we have all of our bodywork pre-assembled for the cars. This makes the process of building a car so much quicker. Um, we try and sub-assemble as much as we can prior to actually fitting and finishing the cars. And you can see here we've got floors, we've got cockpit covers, we've got front noses, we've got rear wings, we've got everything here, which is the aerodynamical part of the car, uh, which allows us to finish the car before we put it on track. If you come close, you can see here we have a camera which points rearward. We have a radar which detects cars from behind. And if you come around the side, we can see that we have things like tire temperatures. So this sensor here detects the temperature of the tire, which is incredibly helpful for the teams when it comes to performance of the car. We have rearward facing cameras, we have LIDARs, and we have more radars pointing forward. On top here, this is our VR camera. And this is what we use to get the immersive experience through our VR headset. So a car like this takes our mechanics around two weeks to build from a bare chassis to a full autonomous vehicle. A fun fact for you, last year we had an engine which we needed to replace and the guy's done it in less than two hours.